might be a bit difficult to determine if it's arithmetic or geometric because to get from 54 to 18 you minus 36 but then if you minus 36 again you're not going to get to 6 so it's not arithmetic so then what we could see is maybe it's geometric to do that we need to see the ratio and we have to see if the ratio stays constant so we say 18 divided by 54 which is a third then we see if t3 over t2 is also a third so we say 6 over 18 and it is a third so it's geometric where the ratio is a third so it should be quite easy then because we can just use the sum formula for a geometric pattern however we do not know how many terms there are we do know that the last term is 2 over 81 so we can use the term formula we know what the value of the term is it's 2 over 81 but we don't know what term number it is but if we could find that then we know how many terms our sequence has now our ratio is a third to the n minus 1 like that okay so how do we solve this now well what you do is you need to take this 54 over to that side by dividing so it's going to be 2 over 81 divided by 54 which is 1 over 2187 equals to a third n minus 1 now there's many ways that you can do this from this step but I'm just going to use logs so what we're going to say is that n minus 1 equals to log of a third and then 1 over 2187 so I'm going to type all of this on the calculator now and that's 7 so we can say that n minus 1 is equal to 7 therefore n must be 8 okay so we now know that this is term 8 but because it's the last term it also tells us how many terms we have so now we can come use this formula again I'm going to use a different color now so the sum of the first 8 why do I use infinity for that would be a what did we say a was oh it's 54 the ratio is a third we have eight terms and then you just type it on the calculator and so the final answer is going to be 80 comma 99 if you round to two decimal places